Hey, it's Celia here, and on today's video, we are going to be doing a comparison between the DJI Osmo Pocket to the Canon 1DX. The DJI Osmo Pocket does not have different lenses that you can put on them, whereas with the DJI, whereas with the Canon 1DX, you can obviously put on different lenses. Um, so you can kind of get an idea of that as well as the actual quality. So right now, as I'm talking to you, the nice thing about the Osmo Pocket is there is an app. And so you can see where I can actually monitor everything that the camera is picking up right now because it is being reflected here on my, um, on my phone app. The nice thing about the DJI Osmo Pocket is it fits right in the palm of my hand. It is truly a pocket camera. It can just pop right into your pocket and you can take it and go out and about. Meaning it is the perfect camera for vlogging. It's the perfect camera to actually get that B-roll that you can't get because you can't maybe lug around a huge camera. So even if you don't necessarily have the Canon 1DX because it's not the most affordable camera, even any of the other uh, Canon cameras, they're still a little bit too big to lug around. I know that as a mom, I'm when I'm out and about, I have never bring my camera with me, my 1DX with me, to get any B-roll or to get any footage because it's way too expensive to take a chance on. Um, it's way too expensive to take a chance on the actual you know, just just in case it falls or it gets stolen because I'm actually watching my kids or, you know, I bump it into something because I'm not paying attention. When I have my camera with me, the 1DX, I am super focused on my camera equipment. And that's not a good thing when I've got my three young kids with me. Um, so I know I love having the DJI Osmo Pocket with me because I can just whip that sucker out, get the footage that I need, turn it right off, put it back in my pocket and go on. And I can actually do that holding it with one hand with you know still being able to watch my kids over here. So that has been amazing. And so now we're gonna actually compare the footage between the 1DX and the DJI Osmo Pocket. So here's the thing, if you are a business owner, which if you're watching my channel, you, that's, you probably are, um, you are not going to want to be lugging around this huge Canon 1DX camera with the lens and then the audio and all that stuff. Uh, so the DJI Pocket Osmo would be the best thing for you. I love it, hands down. I think it's amazing for um, any business owner that needs to get the footage, get it out and about, document what's going on into their day to day. Um, and this is obviously if you don't have, you know, one of the newer cameras, you don't have necessarily a nice setup to, you know, uh, carry around your camera with the gimbal and walking around. Anything that can shave off time to getting set up for me is a lifesaver. With the DJI Osmo Pocket, I don't know why I keep saying DJI Osmo Pocket. I want to just say I'm going to call it the Osmo Pocket from here on out. With the Osmo Pocket, you can just whip it out, go get what you need, and move on with it. Um, I will say the nice thing about this is you can see like the light just fell just now, and I can sit here and actually adjust right now on the go, right? All on my own. Uh, I'm a big proponent of being able to shoot and do things on your own, not having to always wait for uh, somebody else to help you film. And that's what's amazing about the, DJ, the Osmo Pocket is you can do all this on your own. You don't have to have a video crew with you. So I think it's amazing. So some other stuff is it can actually get B-roll. So I wanna show you some comparisons here of the B-roll that we're able to get between the two cameras. So you can see the Canon 1DX, here's some B-roll slow-mo footage right here, and then now here's the Osmo slow-mo footage right here. I mean, I think it looks really good as a comparison between the $5,000 camera and then a $350 camera. This 
Cosmo Pocket is amazing. Um, I will say it's not necessarily as clear as I would like it to be. Here, I'm gonna actually make it just a little bit darker here. It's, ah, that's good. It's not necessarily as clear and sharp as I like it to be, but it's also like an itty bitty camera. So I think that's totally acceptable uh, for what it is. One thing I do absolutely love about the Osmo Pocket is the fact that you can input external mics into the camera. So DJI has a little out or input on the bottom of the camera where you can actually plug in an external mic, which is awesome. So what I do personally is I actually have the Rode Link. Nope, oh, here we are getting bright again. I have the Rode Link microphone connected to my um, Osmo Pocket. And as you can see, I've actually got it right here on me as well. Right now for this video, I have it going into a Zoom mic. Uh, let me show you what I have right now. Just because I knew I would be filming on both cameras, so it wouldn't really matter for me. So I have, I have this bad boy right here um, on the side of me just so that I can make sure that I've got good audio for this video. So it's nice to be able to get an external mic to capture audio because it's a hit and miss with the microphone that's built in. I will say it's a pretty darn good microphone for um, you know the size of the camera and the fact that it's all built in, but like I said, it's great that you can put in external. And why it's really great for me personally, how I'm gonna use it, is I can actually have a camera set up and I could be having an interview with somebody and both of us could have um, microphones plugged into the Zoom so that we can have multiple people being recorded instead of just only, only being able to have one person uh, recorded. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, if you guys have any questions about the Canon 1DX or the Osmo, please ask me in the comments. I'm more than happy to make any additional videos for you if you want to see comparisons, if you're thinking about buying it. Um, I've got the link in the description for both the 1DX and the Osmo Pocket. Both of them are great. If you are a business owner looking to get some videos and create it on the go, get the Osmo Pocket. If you're going to get the 1DX because you, you, know, you can afford it and it makes sense for you to get this camera, go ahead and get the Osmo Pocket as well. If you're going to invest that much in the, in the 1DX, you can get the Osmo Pocket as well. And you'll be able to get a lot more footage on the go and it'll make it so much easier. For me, it has to be stupid, simple, easy, and convenient for me to capture the footage. Otherwise, I know I just won't capture it. Anyways, thanks for watching this. I hope it was valuable for you. And if you have any questions, put it in the comments. And make sure you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be bringing you a lot more review videos specifically catered to business owners. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next video.